last four years, we've been uh, working very closely with a lot of our key subject matter experts in uh, Talis Bay. And uh, we've been working very hard in the R&D, the research, development, uh, the maturation of creating Formar X, as you see launched today, to meet the needs of our users who demand big capability, but also have different constraints, be it in the size for the launch and takeoff of the area they can use. So Formar X is designed to operate from a very small launch recovery location, be it a uh, constrained ground mass or urban environment or land environment, or more particularly from the back of a ship. And very recently, we've had very good success in Malaysia, with the Malaysian Navy. Uh, they've now gone to procurement with us and we look forward to delivering uh, the Formar X capability to them in, uh, in the next uh, year or so. Uh, recently, we've been getting a lot of good customer feedback and opening up dialogue to engage with Formar X in both Latin America, Southeast Asia, and also more recently in Europe um, and also the Middle East. Especially in Europe, we're in very uh, advanced negotiations with the Spanish MOD, um, who are looking to procure a capability of this type and size uh, at the latter parts of next year. I think um, we've recognised that this is a competitive environment, but I think the solution we're offering at the moment is um, very highly competitive both in capability, performance, uh, future involvement, modularity, allowing us to meet uh, customer requirements and changing the scope of our offer to meet those customer requirements. And of course, it's about a very competitive price in that environment as well.